Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 12A notes on number patterns. All right. At the end of this, you should be able to say that I can recognize patterns in sets of numbers, and also I can describe the pattern in words and continue the pattern. All right. So, first thing, we need to know what a number sequence is. So, a number sequence is just a list of numbers where there is a pattern. Okay. And terms are the members or the numbers of a sequence. So for example, 2, 7, 12, 17 are all the terms in a number sequence. Okay, So the first term is 2, second term is 7, third term is 12, fourth term is 17, so forth and so on. Okay, um, We would describe this sequence as a sequence starts at 2, and each term is five more than the previous term. Okay? All right, so let's take a look at some examples here. Okay, so first one is example one from page 396, and it says to describe the sequence and identify the next two terms. So we've got 37, 33, 29, and 25. All right? So um, basically what you want to do is we want to go with we want to talk about where, where the sequence starts. So the sequence starts at 37. So we just write that down, the sequence. Starts at 37. And um, each term So each of these terms here is, let's see, we're subtracting 4, 37 minus 4 is 33, 33 minus 4 is 29, 29 minus 4 is 25. So then we can say each term is 4 less than the previous term. Okay, so that's really uh, that's really all there is to that. So, wow, fantastic, isn't it? All right. See, I'm gonna have a little bit of fun with my uh, webcam over here. So, you'll just have to uh, bear with me. Um, so let's take a look at one more. And this example is not actually in the book, so um, I thought I'd throw this out here because I think it's gonna help out. All right, so what we have here is find the next three terms of the following sequences. And we've got 0, 3, 8, 15, and then 2, 6, 18, 54. So first thing here is we want to figure out, okay, what is changing um, for each term here? So let's say 0 plus 3 gives us 3, and then 3 plus 5 gives us 8, 8 plus... 7 gives us 15. So notice it doesn't actually ask us to describe the sequence. We just have to find the next um, three terms. So what we're going to want to do here is just we're realizing we're going up by 3, 5, 7. So the next one is going to be 9 to give us this number, and then 11 to give us this number, and then 13 to give us this last number here. Okay, so. Let's make our life a little bit easier, and we shall use a calculator. All right, so let's see. Let's turn this on, and we're doing, let's see, we did 8 plus 7 is 15, so 15 plus 9. I guess we know that that's 24, but anyway. Okay, and then 24 plus 11. I guess we really don't need, need to use our calculator, do we? So, um... Let's do 24 plus 11 is 35, and then 35 plus 13 is 48. So the next three terms, the next three terms of the sequence are 24, 35, and 48 all right okay so that is 
that one and let's try B. All right, and I'm getting a little, oops, I'm not supposed to do that. There we go. Uh, I'm getting a little uncomfortable looking at myself, so let's uh, change it up here a little bit. All right, so we'll have the dog talk to you. All right, so on this one here, you got to say, okay, what happens to take 2? What do we do to 2 to get to 6? And what do we do to 6 to get to 18? What do we do to 18 to get to 54? So we can say, hmm, let's see, we added 4 here. And then you can say, ooh, that's a lot of adding here. Let's see, so now we're plus 12. And then 18 to 54. Uh, let's see here. Let's figure out what that is. 54 minus 18 is 36. Not really easy to see what's going on there. So let's try multiplying instead. So let's get rid of that stuff. I think multiplying is going to make it a little bit easier. So 2 times 3 is 6. And look, 6 times 3 is 18. And 18 times 3 is 54. So we figured that one out. All right? All right. So as, again, as you can tell, I'm having a little too much fun with the webcam here. But that's all right. We'll go with it. So next one is 54 times 3. And then we're going to take that and multiply it by 3 to get this one. And multiply that by 3 to get this one. So this one we're going to want to use our calculator for. So let's see, we've got 54 times 3, which gives us 162. And then we're going to take that answer and multiply that by 3 and get 486. And then we're going to multiply that by 3 to get 1458. Okay, so the next three terms of the sequence are 162, 486, and 1458. Okay? Uh, so now you should be able to say uh, I can recognize patterns in sets of numbers and also I can describe the pattern in words and continue the pattern. Okay, so if you have any questions at all, please ask. All right, thanks.